Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making 10 cards with the Echo Park Pool Party collection. And in this collection, I previously did a craft haul. I will link it down below if you wanna go back and take a look at that. But the products that I'm using for this collection include the 12 by 12 papers, which include a series of 12 by 12 papers as well as a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I'm also bringing in the 12 by 12 solid color cardstock as well as a sheet of puffy stickers. So again, I'll link that craft haul below so you can take a look at everything that I'm using. So before I get started, I want to just remind you all that if you like videos like this, be sure that you subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video and please consider liking this video. So to get started I took one of the 12 by 12 sheets that have these various cut aparts and I'm just cutting them down to size and I'm going to be using these on my first series of cards. So these are really fun 4 by 6 cut aparts that are perfect for larger card bases. I also want to remind you that links to all supplies that I use will be down in the description box and I will have all card measurements listed on my blog and there will be a link to my blog post down in the description box below. So for my first card I am using this um, cut apart here, I love you to the beach and back and I took a border die and I die cut it out of some craft cardstock it's actually the ginger snap cardstock from the stamps of life and then the stamp that I'm using is a sand stamp from the island to visit stamp set from the stamps of life I previously showed you just a moment ago on the screen what that stamp set looked like it had a large palm tree and some other fun stamps but I'm just using this stamp set inking it up in a dark brown ink and just putting it on this border just to add some texture and now I'm inking up the edges of that with the ginger snap ink which is a light brown ink that matches that cardstock just some more texture and dimension so I'm going to be using this border and just making a cute little beach scene at the bottom of this cut apart so I just make sure that it fits perfectly at the along the bottom it is going to extend a little bit past the edge but that's no problem because I'll be able to cut the excess border off so here I'm just flipping this cut apart over and just adhering with some double-sided adhesive tape just to make sure it stays in place because I have it at a certain um, distance from the bottom of that cut apart. I didn't want it to go over that flamingo float or the pineapple so I just wanted to make sure I taped it to adhere it where exactly I wanted it before I add glue to it and put it on that cut apart. So here you see me just trimming off the excess just to make sure that it is completely even on all sides. And then I'm gonna take this sticker from the sticker sheet and add the sun sticker to the top right hand corner and just trim off the excess sticker. This cut apart basically has everything you need for a cute little beach scene. So it has the umbrella and the flamingo, the beach ball, the pineapple. So here I'm taking one of the small stickers which is a shell. It's actually a shell inside of a circle but I didn't want it to have the circle shape. So I just cut the shell out of the sticker and I'm just going to add it here to the sand just some for some more fun um, little beach stuff added to this scene. So I'm actually going to do two of these shells, just cutting them away from the circle on this sticker. Next I'm going to come in with my Ginger Snap ink and again just ink up the edges. Since I did cut away some of that cardstock, I just wanted to be sure that the edges were clearly inked up. And then I will add that cut apart to a piece of the pink solid cardstock from the solids paper pack. That pink solid is six and one eighth by four and an eighth. So I just adhere that down. And then I have a piece of striped pattern paper and that striped pattern paper measures six and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I'm just going to add that to another piece of the pink solid cardstock that measures six and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And then I'll just add both of those layers together so the smaller layer will be adhered to the larger layer. And by the way, this is going to end up going on a 5x7 card base. So 5x7 card base, I actually have a die set from the Stamps of Life that I die cut out. It's a 5x7. It actually 
makes or cuts out a 5 by 7 card base and I'll link that product in the description in case you're interested in it but that way it's just easier I don't have to worry about measuring with my paper trimmer and I actually do use the large die in that set to die cut the actual card base so I just adhere that to a white 5 by 7 card base and then I add some twine around the top it's just some twine in the same craft color as that sand so just put a few strings around the card and then just tie it there in a knot on the top left side and then I'll tie it in a bow and just trim the excess strings off. I will be bringing in a small starfish embellishment which these starfish embellishments actually came with one of the card kits that I um, have from the Stamps of Life back probably last summer and I thought they went perfectly with this little scene so I just add some hot glue and add a um, starfish there to the middle of the bow and just putting there a glue dot just to adhere the bow to the actual card and that completes card one. For my next card I knew I wanted to include a beach umbrella and I actually have an umbrella stamp from the Stamps of Life so I'm just inking it up with my Cherry Stamps of Life ink and just putting it on some white cardstock. I didn't worry about um, inking up the bottom. The bottom actually has a little loop handle. I didn't worry about that. And then I'm just taking one of the layering solid stamps from that same stamp set and inking it up in the banana ink and adding a color there for the middle of the umbrella. So you can actually make your umbrella any color you want depending on what inks or what color inks you're using. So I decided to go with pink and yellow and then I'm just going to die cut that out and you can see that it actually die cut the stem there or I should say the little handle there and I'm just actually cutting the entire handle off. So I just wanted to have the top part and then I just took like a toothpick and just hot glued it to the back. So it has some dimension there. And then I'm using this pool party cut apart. It's the four by six cut apart that I previously cut at the beginning of this video. And I'm adhering it to a yellow piece of solid cardstock that measures six and an eighth by four and an eighth. And then I'm taking this starfish pattern paper that measures six and three quarters by four and three quarters and adhering it to another piece of the yellow solid which measures six and seven eighths by four and seven eighths and then I'm just going to add the smaller cut apart just kind of add a diagonal if you didn't want to do a diagonal and you wanted it straight you can do that too just like we did in the previous card but I decided to put it at a diagonal some of the ends will extend off the edge and that's okay because I'll just flip that over and I will just trim off the excess cardstock. So next I'm just going for placement here. I know I want to incorporate a beach ball sticker so I'm just kind of just trying to figure out where I want to put this and then I also have a sticker and that sticker says summers are made of warm days and friends and I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to put all that. I am going to go ahead and add some double-sided adhesive foam to the back of that beach ball and the reason being is because that toothpick that I used it did have some dimension on it and I wanted to be sure that the ball also was raised and had the dimension or the same thickness as that toothpick. I'm also going to be adding some double-sided adhesive foam to the back of that umbrella because I wanted to make sure that the size of that umbrella will sit flat on my card. I'm also going to add some glue to the toothpick and add that umbrella to my card. And then I'm just going to add the sticker and then remove the double-sided backing of that foam for the beach ball and then add that to the card as well. I'm also bringing in this flamingo sticker. I did add some double-sided adhesive uh, foam to that as well and then I'm adding that to the card and then that entire layer will be added to a white 5x7 card base and that will complete this card. For my next card I'm taking this summer is here cut apart and I'm just trimming down the word summer. I'm actually cutting each one of those letters out of that cut apart. 
and I'm also going to trim down that scooter and cut that out of the cut apart as well because summer is here I don't know that that is pretty appropriate for an actual card so I'm just going to make my own sentiment but I wanted to use those pieces so this is going to be a slimline card I have a piece of pink paper that measures eight and three eighths by three and three eighths and then the stripe paper is eight and a quarter by three and a quarter and then here I'm just going to add each one of those letters to my card. I do start with the R in the word summer and then I work backwards just to make sure I have enough room on that card where all those letters fit because I didn't want to start with the S and work left because then I might run out of room. So just adding each one there to the bottom right hand corner. You can see that I cut that scooter out as well. And I'm going to add the scooter right there to the left of the word summer. And then I'm going to take this die that I die cut, it's the word happy, and I'm going to just add it there to the top left. And that is a die from the Happy Hello dies from the Stamps of Life. And then I'm just gonna add this to a slimline card base. And to get your slimline card base, just take a piece of cardstock cut it down to eight and a half by seven and score at three and a half. And then I'm just going to use a piece of twine, wrap it around the top. I am going to be tying it in a bow on the far right hand side. And then to finish this off, I will add a few epoxy dots in the top right hand corner. And that will complete my card. So for my next card, I'm taking the Hello Summer cut apart with these popsicles. And again, I am fussy cutting them out. So I'm gonna cut out the popsicles, each one of those popsicles. And I'm also going to leave intact that word hello because I'm gonna use it in a card later on in this video. So don't cut through the word hello because you will use it again if you're replicating these cards. So this is gonna be another slimline card. So I have some pattern paper that I cut down to eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then that pink solid is eight and three eighths by three and three eighths. So I'm just layering those up and then I'm going to add the word summer with the popsicles on the right hand side. So the back of that striped pattern paper has this flower print and I'm just taking this scrap that I had and I'm trimming out some of the flowers that are on this pattern paper. So just fussy cutting some of the flowers out because I felt like the left side of this card, it needed something more than just having the word summer and maybe putting the sentiment happy on there. I wanted to have something more there on the left. So again, just fussy cutting out these flowers and once I have them cut out, I'll be able to add them to my card. Now, the flowers here were actually an afterthought and if I would have remembered or thought of this prior to adding the striped paper onto the pink cardstock, I would have waited to add to the pink cardstock. So that way, if anything extended beyond the edge, I could just trim it off before I add it to the solid cardstock. Um, because I did not want these flowers to go past that striped paper. So I just wanted to make sure that I had a straight edge along that striped paper. So that's why you saw me just kind of trim out with my paper trimmer to make sure that the edge was straight and then I'm just going to add some glue to the back and then add it to the top left hand corner. Again, not exceeding that striped paper. If you wanted to go past the striped paper and go onto the pink, you can. My suggestion is if you're recreating this card, go ahead and add your flowers to the striped paper and then add the striped paper to the pink cardstock. So here I have a word happy that I stamped out and I'm just adding it to a stitched oval die. This um, was a stitched oval die that I used. It was a layering die. I used two stitched ovals. One I cut in white and one I cut in pink and I just layered those up and then I'm just adding some little sided adhesive foam to the back to have that stand up on my card. I'm also going to be taking some silver gems and just putting them in the centers of some of those flowers. And then I'm going to add that layer to a slimline card base. And then I'm going to come in with my Spectrum Noir glitter pen and just go over those popsicles to add a hint of glitter. 
I have a piece of twine that I tied in a bow and I'm just adding it there to the sentiment and then add a few more of the silver epoxy dots to the bottom left hand corner and that will complete this card. For my next card I'm using the Summer Vibes Cut Apart and I want to use the striped pattern paper but there's a sentiment on here that I'm going to use with another card and it's going to be that yellow one so I'm just cutting that strip off and then I'm putting that to the side just to make sure I don't cut through that yellow sentiment. And then I'm going to take this striped paper and I'm just going to trim this down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then I'm going to take a stamp set. It's the Happy Mail to Stamp set from the Stamps of Life. And I stamped out the word sending you on this banner. I did put some double-sided adhesive foam on the back and I am just adding some glue to it anyway just to make sure it adheres well to this card. So I'm just adding it there to the top left hand corner of this cut apart and then I'm going to take that cut apart and add it to a piece of blue cardstock and that measures six and an eighth by four and an eighth and I also have a piece of striped pattern paper that measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters and that will be adhered to another piece of blue solid cardstock that measures four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths and then those two layers will be added together so the smaller one will be layered on top of the larger one and then I'm going to use this moped from the sticker sheet and add it there to the left hand corner and then I'm going to bring in the surfboard and one of the leaves and add it to the right hand corner and then I'm going to add that card front to a 5x7 card base and then I'm just going to take some epoxy dots or just they're just some little silver little gems there and then just add them there to the top right hand corner of that card and that will complete this card. For my next card I'm taking the cut apart sunshine kisses and summer wishes. This was from the sheet that we previously cut apart in the previous card. And then I'm going to layer that on top of a piece of teal cardstock. And that teal cardstock measures 3 and 1 8 by 4 and 1 8. And then I'm going to take that pineapple pattern paper, which I cut down to 4 by 5 and a quarter, and layer that onto another piece of teal cardstock that measures 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. And then I'm going to add the Sunshine Kisses sentiment to the top of that pineapple paper. And that layer will be added to an A2 size white card base. The A2 size card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. I also am adding some of the puffy stickers. I do use the palm trees in the lower left hand corner. I add a few epoxy dots. Those are those little silver gems that I've been using. And I'm gonna bring in another puffy sticker and put it at the top of that cut apart. It says, hello sunshine. And that will complete this card. For my next card, I'm using the Hello Summer cut apart from the large sheet. And I'm just cutting out the actual sentiment, including the wreath. So I'm just fussy cutting that out. And I'm going to use that on my card front. This card will be another A2 size card, so it will be a smaller card. And I'm bringing in that striped pattern paper, and that measures 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths and I'm going to add that to a solid teal cardstock that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Notice that it's um, flush at the top and bottom but on the sides it has some of that solid cardstock peeking out. I also have some twine that I'm going to add around the top portion of that card layer. I just added some double-sided adhesive tape to the back to keep that twine down and then just cut off the middle portion so I don't have that bulk underneath that card layer when I add it to any card base. I am going to add some foam here and I am making sure that I leave some space where that sentiment is going to sit on top of the twine so I'm not putting any foam across the middle of that sentiment so that it has room to sit on the twine. And then just add that to the top of that card layer. I am bringing in these stickers. I do add a pineapple, put some sunglasses on the pineapple, and I'm also going to bring in this hat. The hat, I'm gonna put some double-sided adhesive foam on the back of that. 
And then I'm going to add that hat to the bottom right hand side of that pineapple. And then I'm going to add that entire layer onto an A2 size white card base and that will complete this card. For my next card I'm using the Say Hello to Summer cut apart. I'm just trimming it out with my scissors. And then I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die and die cut that sentiment out so that it has stitching around it. And then I have this piece of polka dot paper and the polka dot paper measures six by four and I'm going to add that to that fun beachy pattern paper that measures six and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then I'm going to add that layer to a piece of solid color pink paper and that measures six and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And then I also have a striped piece of pattern paper that measures three by four, which is going to be layered in the background of the sentiment. And by the way, I just want to mention that I love using the solid coordinating cardstock that comes with the, I shouldn't say it comes with, you can purchase it in addition to the products that you purchase with these collection kits because the solids are coordinating solid colors. So you don't have to worry about looking in your stash for matching solid cardstocks because the solid pack matches the um, collection kit very well. So here's a border sticker from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that I'm going to be using as well as this ice cream stand sticker. So I'm just added the border there at the bottom and then I added the ice cream stand sticker to that card front and then I'm also going to be wrapping some twine around the bottom portion of that card layer and then tying it in the bow there off to the left. And then I'm going to bring in these ice cream cones, one ice cream cone and one popsicle sticker and just adding some double sided adhesive foam to the back and then adding that ice cream and popsicle to the card front. And then I'll be adding that entire layer to a 5x7 white card base. And that will complete this card. For my Next card, I'm going to be making another slimline card. So I do start out with a border that I die cut from a border die onto some ginger snap cardstock. I use the sand stamp from the Island to Visit set from the Stamps of Life. Just add some texture onto there by adding some sand in some dark brown ink. And I ink up the edges of that with my light brown ink which is the ginger snap ink from the Stamps of Life. So basically it's the same process as we did in card one and we're doing that here again. So I have some layers. This starfish layer, it's three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I am going to be adding the sand to the bottom of this layer. I'm also going to be adding some stickers. So I have a surfboard, I have the palm trees. These are from the 12 by 12 sticker pack. And I'm just kind of going for placement here, just seeing how far down I want these stickers to be before I add that sand border. And then once I have the stickers where I want them, I'll just press them down and then I'll add the sand border right on top because I wanted to make sure that they were tucked behind the sand. I didn't want them in front of the sand, I wanted them behind the sand, so I added the stickers first and then just added some glue to that sand, press that down. It does extend beyond the edges, but that's no big deal because then I'll just flip that panel over and then just trim off the excess sand. And then I'm going to add that layer to a piece of blue solid cardstock that measures three and three eighths by eight and three eighths. And since some of that palm tree was extending beyond the edge, I'm just going to snip off part of that palm tree. And then I'm going to take that word hello from one of the previous cards that we did. And remember I said to save that. So I'm just trimming it out here and I'm going to use this on my card. So I'm going to add glue to the back of that. I'm going to add the word hello to the very top of that card panel. I will snip off the edges there and then I'm going to bring in the puffy stickers in the word summer and I'm going to add that underneath the word hello at the top of that panel. And then I'm going to bring in some more stickers. This is just from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Add them to the bottom there in the sand. I have the starfish. I also have a shell. And then I have a small shell, which I'm just trimming out of the circle and then just adding that blue shell there next to the starfish. And then I will add that entire layer onto a slimline card base. And that will complete this card. So for my last card, card 10, 
it will be an A2 size card. So some of these layers that I have here, I have a stitched rectangle that I die cut out of that, kind of like that pool paper. And then I layered that onto a piece of orange solid card stock that measures three and three eighths by four and five eighths. And then I have that floral paper. It's four by five and a quarter layered onto some solid orange cardstock that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then both of those layers will be added um, together. So the smaller layer on top of the larger layer. And then I'm gonna bring in some stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I have my leaf that I'm gonna add there. So I'm just layering these up, just trying to figure out where I wanted to put them. I have the pool sticker, which will be layered on top of that, and then the bathing suit. And then I have a word die. This is a hello word die, and I will link this below. It's from the Stamps of Life. And I die cut it out of the white cardstock and the blue cardstock. I'm going to add that there to the top of the card. I'm also going to bring in the word sunshine from the sticker sheet, add it there next to the bathing suit. And I love this hello die. It's actually the same font or a very similar font to the previous card where I used the word hello summer on that slimline card. So I'm just going to trim off these excess lines that extend beyond this card layer. And then that entire layer will go on an A2 size white card base. And then I will finish this card up by adding some of those little silver gems that I've been using all along. And that will complete this card. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a like. And be sure to subscribe for more card making tutorials and inspiration. And also leave me a comment down below and let me know which card out of all of these 10 cards was your favorite. And once again, all links will be in the description box and on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.